Hi, I'm Gary from VTechCorvette.com and what we're talking about today is the rebuild of Corvette differentials for C2s and C3s. This is the 65 through 79 cars. Uh, probably one of the biggest things on the rebuild of these parts and stuff is the cleanliness of them. We go, through, of course, through a sandblast process on the differentials and on a couple of the other parts, but cleanliness is absolutely important. We go through with a triple rinse on them, a hot tank, make sure our perks are clean. Uh, this is a posi unit with a, a ring gear already mounted to it uh, that we have to take apart yet, but it's, you know, it's for show. Uh, we exclusively use uh, solid clutch packs in, in our rebuilds. These are solid steel clutch packs. They uh, actually go up inside the clutch, the posi unit this way, and of course on the bottom. Um, thing you probably hear about most is the shim and how, you, how that's ground, ground so you get the correct uh, backlash reading on the spider gears not just that you can't turn it anymore spin the posi unit anymore it's that you get the correct backlash on both the spider, spider gears um, we also use a uh, uh, oversized spider, or center pin a lot uh, that goes right through here I don't know if you can see it, there's a roll this around and there's the hole it goes through and that also centers the spider gear in the housing, in the clutch pack, okay? Uh, we also exclusively use Timken bearings uh, in all our rebuilds. It's just so much easier to uh, assure that you've got a good product going out the door. Probably uh, every Corvette that's been built has some sort of spring. These, this is the spring system for this vintage of a Corvette. You get into the later cars, they use a Belleville washer, but they're always using a, a, some sort of spring mesh method to push the clutch out so you get the limited slip. Uh, if you hear somebody telling you you don't use, do not use the springs, well, you're going to be regraining the shims every six months having to take your posi unit apart. With these cars, as they put radial tires on them, uh, you got more movement on the axles back and forth. So you hear a lot about the uh, uh, end of these axles getting worn down and actually slamming up on the inside against that center center pin and wearing down, wearing down. Of course, gets chips, etc., inside your differential and causes havoc with the bearings and the ring gear, etc., etc. The best way to make sure that's set is proper lubricant and make sure it's set up properly, properly to begin with. Uh, you should have more than 10 or 20 thousandths after this thing is rebuilt as far as end, end play. Uh, before we let any of these go out the door, well, uh, we always go th make sure that we have got an excellent uh, pattern that's built into the part uh, so you don't get any howling or anything like that when you're going down the road with these cars. Uh, you go through a proper rebuild, uh, you know, we get these differentials in with uh, 125,000 miles on them. When we put them back together, you should not be any reason to get this, expect the same amount when you get them back. So, if you have any other questions, uh, take, check us out at vtechcorvette.com. Thank you.